Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks with ADSR. In this video, we're we'll doing a quick first look and overview of the new features and the new improvements in RX8 Advanced. Now, if you're new to the world of RX, you're thinking, well, what is this thing? I can sum it up like this. Back when I was in college, I had a professor who always said it's better to record things as cleanly and as well as you possibly can because you don't want to just think, oh, I'll fix it later in the mix because, and I quote, you can't polish a turd. Well, Isotope said, hold my beer. They've brought us many versions of RX and now we're in RX8. And I can tell you, it definitely allows you to polish a turd. It is an audio repair assistant, essentially. It allows you to fix flaws in audio that you would otherwise not be able to fix with conventional mixing techniques like EQ and compression, et cetera, et cetera. So that being said, let's dive into the actual first look and review. All right, so what we see here on screen looks pretty similar to RX7, the last version, but we do have some new modules that we can use. And I'm really excited about one of them in particular because I use RX quite a bit when we're making loops for Echo Soundworks, whether it's drum loops, guitar loops, piano, or vocal, we use it quite a bit to just really tighten things up and clean things up. So one that I'm really excited about is the guitar denoise, specifically the removal of amp noise. If you guys struggle with getting a nice clean tone that doesn't have amp hum, this is going to be epic for you. And if you're a type of player that just happens to play in a way that generates a lot of squeaks or too much pick noise, you have access to control those features as well. So I'm actually gonna test that out in this video. Now, another new tool that we have is the spectral recovery. So this is a pretty interesting one for 2020. It allows you to restore audio quality from overly compressed files from say the internet or maybe from a phone call, a Zoom call, something that's just not going to have a lot of depth and clarity to it to begin with. It helps make it better. So we're going to test that out as well. And the last one that's brand new is the wow and flutter. So I only just recently started messing around with recording things to tape, but I know a lot of us get loops all the time that are drenched in RC20. <laughs> I'm gonna try removing some of RC20 with this because the whole point of the wow and flutter is to correct the pitch drift in the physical musical in physical music recordings like vinyl and tape. So that being said, I think it'll be interesting to see if I maybe find a piano loop that's drenched in RC20 flutter and wow, can I clean it up a little bit to make it more sterile? Take it in a different direction. So that's what we're gonna be doing in this video. Let's get going. All right, so to test out the guitar denoising module in RX-8, we're gonna be working in a DAW. This is Logic X. So interestingly enough, the room I'm in actually has a major grounding issue. The grounding issue there is no ground in the outlet. So outside of that being a fire hazard, it actually makes working with single coil guitars really annoying because there's always this weird buzz and hum. And it's different from conventional amp hum in that if I touch anything metal on the guitar, it drastically reduces the hum. So it's something I'm constantly fighting with when we're making loops for Echo Soundworks. Now with RX-8's new guitar denoising plugin, I think I'm gonna be able to work around that a lot more efficiently. So I'm really excited. So I loaded up Amplitude 8 and you can see in here already that right when the amp turns on, we have that hum and that buzz. My guitar is just sitting behind me and it's just plugged in. So I'll play a string so you can hear that's turned on, right? So it's there. Now. You, you can see that my gain is set under five, right? So there, it's not like this is a high gain amp right now. So there shouldn't be a lot of hum. That's the guitar. That's the grounding issue in the room. So what we're going to do now is we're going to turn on RX-8 and we're going to go to the amp setting. So I'll turn off squeak for now. And we're going to hit learn and it's going to listen to the annoying amp hum. And then I'll hit learn again and the noise is drastically reduced. So let's go now and we're gonna turn amplitude, we're gonna go turn that back on and we're gonna turn the amp gain down. I turned that up a little bit louder than I wanted just so you could hear it. And in it, you can hear pretty much the whole way that hum is there. All right, so now with RX-8. Love it. It has actually improved it. I'm super stoked about this because this makes my life way easier. So here I just bounce that out to audio and then I can apply other effects like we see here. Then one more time with some reverb and the delay and we have a great guitar loop. So 
So now we're gonna test out the new Wow and Flutter module. So I've dragged in a loop that I drenched in some RC20. It's got some final crackles. It's got some Wow and Flutter going on. Let's take a quick listen. So I actually see this being extremely helpful for a lot of producers out there nowadays because of the, just the prevalence of, of things like RC20. There's a lot of really cool, pretty piano loops out there, but a lot of them, if they're made for trap and hip hop and lo-fi, they're gonna be pretty drenched in you know wow and flutter and even crackles, final crackles. So this is where I see myself using it, maybe cleaning up a loop quite a bit to uh, make it more, I guess, sterile and fit other types of music, other genres that aren't as quite aren't quite as lo-fi. Actually take out some of that crackle. Let's just, do, let's uh, turn the strength down here. And I've, I've done this before, so I'm familiar with the settings. So let's hit render. And now let's listen. So let's go down now to the wow and flutter. Click to get it there. And I believe this is mainly wow. So I'm just gonna turn the flutter down basically, um, just so I don't, you know, accidentally click on it and think, ah, oh, that's the one I should be working on. This has wow in it, and you can really hear it on the first and second chord. You hear that kind of pitch bend almost? It's, it's quite slow. So I'm gonna choose my rate. This doesn't sound medium or fast to me, it sounds slow, so I have it on slow. Let's turn the sensitivity up, and I'm just gonna hit render and see what happens. There's a couple other controls here where we can compare it, but let's just see what happens. Let's set the sensitivity to, let's do six. That is crazy. So really cool way to clean up loops for any of us out there who, you know, for those of us out there who don't record on tape and vinyl. Now, if you do record on tape and vinyl, this thing's gonna be a godsend. All right, so now we're gonna test out yet another new module in RX-8, and that is the Spectral Recovery. So this is a pretty cool one. It is meant to restore clarity to internet compressed audio files and formats like video calls, podcasts, streams, voice notes, and more. So I took a voice note on my phone, exported it from my phone, put it in Logic, exported it from Logic as a 160 kbps uh, mp3, so it's pretty low, low quality. And now we're gonna try to clean it up in RX-8. So here's what the raw file sounds like. All right, so right now I've pulled up a voice note in or on my iPhone, and we're gonna test out if we can use the new module in RX-8 to clean up this audio and to make it a little bit clearer, a little bit better. So kind of to simulate. So I tried to move around and you know make this as, <laughs> awful as I could. So let's first, before we do the spectral recovery, let's do deep plosive. There's a quite a bit of a plosive kind of p -p -p in there. So let's try this. Let's hit preview. Pull up a voice note. Let's get both channels back on. Voice note in or on my iPhone. And we're going to test out if we can use the new module in RX-8 to clean up this audio and to make it a little bit clearer. All right. Versus or on my iPhone. And we're going to test out if we can use the new module in RX-8 to clean up this audio and to make so there's a big difference right here. Here it is without it. To clean up this, and here it is with it. To clean up this audio, is I'm gonna hit render to basically you know flatten this this uh, deep plosive module, just like that. All right. So right now I've pulled up a voice note in. Okay, so let's go now to the spectral recovery, which is the new module. So we're gonna click this, it's show up, and let's see what some of the presets are. Cover high frequencies, full in patching, enhanced phone memo recording. Well, isn't that dandy? That's exactly what this is. Let's try it out. Let's hit preview. All right, so right now I've pulled up a voice note in. All right, let's render this. All right, so I jump back into Logic so we can A, B this. This is the bad MP3 file straight from the voice note. All right, so right now I've pulled up a voice note in or on my iPhone, and we're gonna test out if we can use the new module in RX-8 to clean up this audio and to make it a little bit pretty nasally, a lot of plosive sounds. Let's focus on this section right here. Here is the cleaned up file from RX-8, new module in RX-8 to clean up this audio. That is crazy. All right, so right now I've pulled up a voice note in or on my iPhone, and we're gonna test out if we can use the new module in RX-8. That's a huge difference. All right, so right now I've pulled up a voice note in Sometimes I use a lav mic when I record tutorial videos, and I often don't. If you guys watch a lot of my videos on ADSR, otherwise you'll know that I like to talk into a microphone. Right now I'm talking into a Shure SM7B. The audio quality is just better. But with this, I might actually be able to get a deep kind of true condenser microphone sound 
using my lav mic, which is pretty crazy because this is a huge difference. There's so much more body to this one. It's so much clearer. All right, so right now I've pulled up a voice note in or on my iPhone. Right now I've pulled up a voice note in or on my iPhone. All right, and finally, the last new module in RX-8 is utility module that is aimed for people who are doing things like podcasts or you know terrestrial radio broadcasting, even audio books. It's called the loudness control. You can see here that we have True Peak integrated uh, LFKS and some different metering tools at our disposal. There's some cool presets here that are for different formats. There's one for audio book, contemporary music master, streaming playback check. So that's pretty cool podcast delivery. So if you guys are doing any of those things and you don't have RX-8 and you want to up the quality of your streams, of your podcast, definitely check out RX. It's it's one of those programs that a lot of producers don't use, but it definitely has utility for most producers in 2000. And you guys can pick up RX-8 as well as other Isotope products on ADSR. So if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Echo Soundworks. I'll see you guys next time.